you have to struggle <laughs> to enjoy what you have built. Hey everyone, I'm Grant, this is Jacob, and welcome back to the channel. We actually already did an intro, and we were so excited about it because we had a plan today. And the first thing we are going to announce is you're going to start seeing regular updates on the YJ Wrangler again because Jacob got a new job, and now our schedule's aligned to the point where we can actually work on it. That's been the whole reason why there hasn't been an update on this in seven months. We have tried getting together, it just hasn't worked. The other update we have is... What transmission are you using? Manual. We're going to an AX15. It's just going to simplify the swap. I won't have to worry about tuning the uh, transmission and the engine like Grant has had to fight Sacrilege. with. Sacrilege. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't know the fun. You, you have to struggle <laughs> to enjoy what you have built. But, no, in all seriousness, yeah. this simplifies everything. It's a mechanically injected diesel. Now it's no computer controls on the transmission. And this is a known quantity. This swap has been done and we know it works. The other thing we are gonna be doing is an air-to-air -air intercooler. Again, we know it works. And that was kind of our intro. And then we were actually swapping out the pedals right there. Those are the new pedals that we were trying to install. And we realized it'd be easier to pull out the interior to get to the pedals. And that's when we discovered all the rust, which is odd because there's no rust on the bottom. It's, it's rusting from the top down, not the bottom up. So we had to call an audible. We have stripped the interior. We have a couple of bolts we now have to cut out because we have stripped the bolts. Yeah. And the plan is now, we are gonna show you everything we've done so far, and we're gonna to continue to work to get everything out. And our hope is if we have enough time today, because we were not expecting to do this, we're hoping to also pressure wash it today. If not, that will be in the next video. But with that said, we have a lot of work to get back to because we want a solid foundation for this swap. So, yay! Quick update, we were removing the interior so we could have easier access to the pedals because as small as Jacob is, he's not that small. Yeah. But in taking the front seats out, we found way more rust in the floorboards than we knew about. We actually can't see it from the bottom. There was one hole, was hole. over here that we kind of knew about, but in taking it out, it looks really bad. So what we are now gonna do is strip the entire interior. We're gonna fix all the rust because I want a good foundation before we start modifying and doing anything for the diesel swap and the manual transmission swap. So it's just to be expected with something this old. So back to work. So we have most of the interior out. We stripped this bolt for this seat belt. So what we're gonna try to do is sacrifice a six millimeter Allen, weld it to it, and see if that will allow this bolt to come out. 50-50 shot.
All right, everyone. Not what we had intended or planned on this video whatsoever. So when we actually blew out all the debris and then vacuumed everything and started really attacking the rust, we did find a couple of pinhole spots in the floorboard. We went ahead and put rust reform on it just to stop the rust, but we will be repairing the floorboard. The other thing we have decided since we've kind of already stripped the Jeep down already, it's not gonna be that much more work to take the engine back out. It's only being held in by the motor mounts at the moment. The next time he comes up, we are gonna power wash it, but because of that, I think we are gonna paint the Jeep, the entire Jeep, because this looks good at 30 feet away going 15 miles per hour. Yeah. At night. Yeah. So, and the front grill especially has a lot of chips and dings. It's the perfect time to go ahead and paint it. We don't know the color yet. That's something we're still discussing. Yeah. Orange, Jacob. Orange. Orange. Yeah. Like, orange. There's one orange Jeep on the road. It's orange. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good color. Orange. <laughs> Not gonna be orange. But anyway, not what we were intending. I still think we can get this done in a reasonable time frame, easily under six months. I still think it could be done in three to four months, especially if we can consistently have our schedules mesh and get you up here to work on it. Yeah, but that's gonna be key. It's, you know, when you're dealing with a classic Jeep, you just run into these things. And at this point, this is a classic Jeep, but we're gonna save it. It's gonna be awesome, and when we're done with it, this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.